there will be war if anything happens to Mazinam Dekano in DSS custody. Enter society wants federal government. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 26th of December 2022 and I have brought this very news from you as you listen to my voice from your location all over the world. A human rights organization, the International Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law, Inter Society, has won the government of the damnable zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, to release Mazinam Dekano because if anything happens to him in the custody of the DSS, there will definitely be a big trouble in the damnable zoo called Nigeria. So first of all, I don't want to analyze anything. Let me read the report, how they have released it from their office of, should I say, from the office of the chairman of the society. There will be trouble if Nam Dekano dies in detention. Enter society group wants Nigerian government. That is their headline from the you know inter society kano who is the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob has been in solitary confinement at the detention facility of the department of state services dss since june 2021 a human rights organization, the International Society for Civil, Civil Liberties and Rule of Law, Inter Society, on Sunday, warned the Nigerian government that Nnam De Kano must not die in custody. Kano, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has been in solitary confinement at the detention facility of the Department of State Services, DSS, since June 2021. Addressing a press conference in Enugu on Sunday, the group warned that if Kano dies in custody, there will be trouble. Flanked by the principal officers and members of the governing board of Inter Society, the board chair, Chief Emeka Uma Balase, advised the federal government that instead of holding Kano in perpetuity, he should start reconciling with aggrieved citizens of the country to douse tension in the country. Well, uh, before I continue, let me say something because of this. Tension will never ever be doused in the zoo as long as Nigeria is concerned. Of course, Mazinam Dekano will be released. But this very tension you see in the zoo is only leading the zoo to disintegration. There is nothing. You see, today is 26th and I want everybody I said everybody who is going to listen to this very broadcast that I'm making today to write it down, mark it somewhere. You can save this very broadcast for posterity's sake. This very tension you see in Nigeria today is only leading the Nigerian state to disintegration. Mazen Amdekano will be released most definitely, but it cannot in any way stop the zoo from disintegrating go and write it somewhere so the tension you see today all over the places both in the east in the west and in the north is only leading the zoo to total disintegration that is what i have said and it must be like that so let me continue reading the group also called for the release of all other pro biafra agitators held in various detention facilities without trial it said Nam Dekano must not die in detention. The DSS has the capacity to give medical treatment either in Nigeria or outside Nigeria. The consequences of dying in detention will be far reaching. The federal government should also release all other pro Biafra agitators held in various detention centers across the country 
as a government that that will soon wind up as a government that will soon wind up it should start making amends and use a political solution in addressing the issue of pro biafra agitation again thank you inter society for for lending voice but any political solution which is not to discuss the boundaries and borders of Biafra with Nigeria, it is dead on arrival. It is completely dead on arrival. That is another thing I want to tell you. But once again, thank you for lending your voice. Speaking on 2023 general election and insecurity, Inter Society called for the removal of 1,500 military checkpoints and 4,000 police checkpoints in the southeast and south south regions in the country. Lamenting the e economic, social, and security implementations, Inter Society said those checkpoints have been converted to extortion points. Thank you again for realizing this and making it public, inter society. It alleged that state actors and non state actors in the Southeast jointly killed 1,700 civilians and abducted 1,800 in 2022. I believe it's more than that. The group, however, is more than this. Are you. Uh, are you going to you know for, uh, 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 forget about the killings by Fulani headsmen terrorists in Enugu State and Ebony State? It's more than this. The group, however, accused the military personnel of collusion with criminal elements to perpetrate crime in the region using military checkpoints and camouflage to kidnap people along the highways. It's good that I read here so that these thieves the criminals in the dos and of course the charge and bear kotoma the car white of biafra land and also solu do solu Kwensu and his government officials should hear from a, a, a you know an external body telling you the people who are causing insecurity in southeast in biafra land because uh, they say that Soludo and the Kotma Chajambe lawyer Carol White of Biafra Land, if I need job for, they said that somehow now it is Igbos who are causing insecurity in Biafra Land. But an external body whose, whose job is to report what is happening in the land to the, to the you know, international community is now telling you the people causing insecurity in Biafra land. I said this during my broadcast yesterday that there is difference between criminals and terrorists invading lands and killing people on a daily basis than those who are angry and avenging the death of their loved ones on and before, on, before and after NSAS 2020. Those ones cannot be, you know, called insecurity because they have nothing to do with civilians and innocent citizens their anger is upon those that killed their loved ones but those terrorists going about killing innocent people in their homes that is insecurity and they have been aided and abetted by the nigeria military and police go and ask a harmful people they will tell you so let me conclude on the 2023 general elections, Inter Society called on the international community and other civil society organizations to keep a close eye on the Independent National Electoral Commission (INEC), adding that it, it has it has identified more than 50 rigging strategies that the electoral body can use to undermine the election. On account of this, Inter Society has filed a has filed a class suit against INEC over seven million disenfranchised new registrations slash six hundred other litigation. It said, um, "This last one talking about election, I just read it so that you know let let it not look as if I have jumped this place. But we, the Biafran agitators." have nothing to do with the zoo election and not just that 
we are going to stop the zoo from conducting election in Biafra land. We are making it open and public. We are not just excusing ourselves from Nigerian election by boycotting it. No, we will stop the zoo from conducting election in Biafra land. And that is when Biafra will come. Thank you, my people. To salute no more and make it go viral. God bless you.